Just starting a vehicle using the NOCO Boost GB40 can be done in three simple steps. First, with the clamp assembly firmly connected to the 12 volt out port on Boost, attach the clamps to the battery, red to positive, black to negative. Next, power on the unit. The charge LEDs will chase and the Boost LED will illuminate, indicating that Boost has detected the battery and is ready to jumpstart. Start the vehicle. Once the vehicle is on, power off the unit and disconnect the clamps from the battery. Manual override is only needed on Boost if the connected battery is too low to be detected, so it is important to understand when and how to use it properly. Note that manual override does not provide any additional power. It simply removes auto detection and safety features. If the unit is powered on and the charge LEDs do not chase, it means that Boost is not detecting a battery. A solid connection is crucial for jump starting, so first, check that the clamps are properly secured. A bad connection could be causing the problem. If the clamps are properly connected and the charge LEDs still do not chase, this could mean that your battery is under 2 volts and cannot be detected. In this case, manual override is required to jump start the vehicle. Before continuing, remember that activating manual override will disable safety features, including spark proof and reverse polarity protection. Manual override should only be used with extreme caution. To activate manual override, press and hold the manual override button until the charge LEDs start to chase. The charge LEDs will chase, indicating Boost is ready to jumpstart. Start the vehicle. Once the vehicle is on, power off Boost, then disconnect the clamps from the battery. The NOCO Genius 5 ships in standby mode. A mode must be selected prior to use. Press the mode button to toggle through the available modes including 12 volt, 12 volt AGM, and 12 volt lithium. Press the mode button again to return to standby mode. To access 6 volt mode, press and hold the mode button for 3 seconds. To access 12 volt repair mode, press the button again. Once the correct mode for the application has been selected, the unit will begin charging and the charge LEDs will start to slowly pulse. A solid green LED will indicate the charge is complete. If a battery is too low to be detected, the Genius 2 has a built-in force mode that can manually activate charging and start the recovery process. If the charger is plugged into AC power and connected to the battery but does not come out of standby when the mode button is pressed, force charge might be required. It likely means the battery is too low to be detected. To access force mode, ensure the charger is connected to AC power and has a secure connection to the battery. Then, press and hold the mode button for approximately 7 seconds. Once active, all available modes will flash. Toggle through the modes by pressing the mode button until the correct one is selected. The charge LEDs will begin to chase, indicating that force mode is charging. After 5 minutes, Genius will return to the selected charge mode. The charge LEDs will indicate the current charge level of the connected battery, and the green LED will illuminate when the battery is fully charged. If the charger returns to standby after the force charge cycle, it likely means the battery should be tested by a professional.